we have seen that the nuller is the concept of the ideal controller and the nuller has four nodes but operational amplifiers don't have let's say we have well this is, operational amplifiers have basically output node distributed over the two power supply nodes here we have a source current and here we have what we call a sync current and together they constitute the current through our load but the nuller has a nullator and a norator and is a four terminal network and uh, nothing connected to power supply because there isn't a power supply but here you see that one of the nodes the return path for the output port is the power supply and that means that we can not make uh, amplifiers that have a load and a source grounded and we need to have series sensing of the current in the load so it limits the number of configurations that can be realized with a single controller for this um, I hope you know the uh, structures of negative feedback amplifiers, how to design them, how to design the negative feedback structures with ideal controllers, and then you will find limitations because one of the nodes is connected to ground. So then we need something else. We need, if we want to make a current amplifier with a operational amplifier, then either we are not going to, uh, we, we cannot ground the load, or we need to make another structure of the amplifier. And this is what this lecture is about. So here we have the non-inverting voltage amplifier in which the nuller is replaced with an operational amplifier. And see the output ports just between here, the, the, the load and, the, and the, it's connected to ground. So the output port is also connected to ground. So here is no problem at all. Grounded source, grounded load, and here is the transadmittance. And now you see here, we want to have comparison series comparison at the input but the input the source is grounded so our comparison signal must be connected to ground but we need to sense the load current and we cannot do it here because that is in the power supply so we need to then have a load that is not grounded and here you see the load is not grounded so we have another uh, transadmittance and if you want to have a transadmittance for a grounded load you have to think of something else so this has a grounded source a floating load. The trans impedance is also not a problem because here we have a parallel and here we have parallel and both the source and the loads can be grounded and the feedback network looks like this just as we had the nuller in it. Grounded source, grounded load. And here we have a current amplifier and we are with the same problem as the trans admittance. So the, the voltage amplifier and the trans impedance amplifier are let's say easy to make with operational amplifiers, but the transadmittance and a current amplifier is a problem because of the sensing of the current. You cannot have a load that is grounded. Now, in some cases, it is not necessary. If you want to control the amount of light through a LED, uh, of a LED, then you uh, control the current through the LED. So here can be your LED and there's no uh, requirement uh, probably for grounding the LED. So you can have a floating load. So how can we find configurations in which we are uh, able to ground the load as well for the transmittance and for the current amplifier? Well, let's just do this. We can use active feedback, and this is then a active inverting uh, voltage attenuator. And here we can make an inverting voltage amplifier. So the, the, this is the non-inverting. And you know the inverting we have discussed this often many times in during the lectures that often we just use this configuration with the series resistor to make an inverting one but that's a conflict with the noise and the input impedance so if you want to have a high impedance and a low noise solution then this is an inverting voltage amplifier here we have a floating voltage to grounded voltage converter uh, a lot of brute force in it, so it's not really a low noise one, but it's the best one you can make with operational amplifiers in transistor level circuits. We have different solutions for that, and we, you can use that as a feedback element. And then here you see we are sensing now 
a floating uh, a current that is converted into a floating voltage and we are converting that into a non-floating voltage here and comparing it with the input so now we have a trans admittance with a grounded load there are other examples in the book more fancy um, but seldom used so this is how we have to deal with the fact that one of the uh, terminals of the output port of the operational amplifier is grounded.